we are going to dive right into some 2022 releases as they were scheduled in calendar with a disclaimer there could be some changes uh, as some are yet to announce official dates um, as well as ratings. So we're gonna dive right into those. We're gonna be looking at theater releases and we're going to be looking at streaming movies from Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and so forth. And we're also going to be looking at some series releases as well with updated seasons like Downton Abbey, Loki, and others. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start off in going order from January all the way through December and leading into 2023. All right, here we go. Uh, coming out on January 7th of this year in 2022, so this week actually, um, it is rated PG-13. It is The 355 and that is starring Jessica Chastain. I love her by the way. She's so awesome. Um, the following week on January 14th, uh, this film is going to be rated R. It is Scream, starring Nev Campbell and Courtney Cox. Then uh, in the following week after that, on January 20th of 2022, we have the Netflix uh, debut of The Royal Treatment. Coming in at January 21st on 2022, we have The King's Daughter, starring Pierce Brosnan. I loved him as James Bond. I would love to hear your thoughts on who you think was the best James Bond. Um, okay, and coming in at 128, so January 28th of this year is Morbius, starring Jared Leto. Heading into February, we have on February 4th, 2022, I am super stoked for this. Um, I don't know what this says about me, but I am like super duper stoked. On February 4th is none other than Jackass Forever. It is rated R and it will have Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O and others. I'm not going to lie. I legit have done some of the stunts for, for this stuff. Like, you know, when they say, don't try this at home, I know WWE used to have that before their pay-per-views and stuff. And so did Jackass, right? Well, I was one of those dumb people that did some of those stunts. That was probably like the precursor to like Taylor Hendricks' wrestling career. <laughs> but nevertheless, I love Jackass. I actually sat down with my mom and my dad this past year when I finally got to go back home after, you know, the COVID restrictions and everything. And I had them watch that with me and their reactions were hilarious. Oh my gosh, hilarious. Like Mama and Papa Hendrix, oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yes, on February 4th, Jackass Forever. Also on February 4th, you are going to see Moonfall starring Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson. On February 11th, we're going to have, I think this might be a remake. I'm not sure. I have not fact checked this, checked this yet, but I'm pretty sure this was an, a film in old Hollywood. So on February 11th, you are going to have Death on the Nile starring Gal Gadot. Uh, on February 11th, you are also going to have What About Love starring Sharon Stone and Andy Garcia. Um, on February 18th, rated PG-13, you are going to have Dog featuring uh, Channing Tatum and Jane Addams. Now, if you don't hear a rating uh, for one of these uh, and or more, that is because the rating is to be determined. So instead of just saying that, I'm not going to say it at all, just so you know. Um, on February 18th, you are going to have Uncharted with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. I actually really want to see that. Uh, gotta represent Boston. I love Mark Wahlberg. And you guys, Tom Holland did a great job as Spider-Man and he probably had the best costume out of all the Spider-Man. Uh, so I saw this meme and I super agreed with it. I thought it was wicked, you know, just spot on. The meme said, um, best Peter Parker, best Spider-Man, best costume, right? And so they gave uh, best Peter Parker performance to, to uh, not, to Tobey Maguire, uh, best Spider-Man with the humor and, and the, you know, just every, the essence of Spider-Man was Andrew Garfield and then the best costume, Tom Holland. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so spot on. Whoever did like that meme, whoever created that, like kudos, like <laughs> so good. Okay. Coming in on February 25th, rated PG-13 is The Devil's Light starring Virginia Madsen. Also on the 25th, rated R is Studio 666 with Dave Grohl and Taylor Hawkins. Uh, heading into March, on March 4th, we have The Batman featuring Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz. I'm actually really pumped to see that, especially since it's not a part of the DCEU. Um, I'm really excited to see if this really does launch a brand new franchise. That would be really cool. Coming in at March 11th is Fear, and it's starring Ruby Modine. Um, also on the same day on March 11th is Turning Red, which is PG. 
Um, and it's featuring uh, Rosa, uh, Rosalie Chang and Sandra Oh. God, I love Sandra Oh. <laughs> I want her to come back to Grey's Anatomy so bad. Um, on March 18th is the fourth season for Downton Abbey. And then rated PG, we have The Unbreakable Boy starring Zachary Levy and Amy Acker. Amy Acker is so good. I remember her on Angel. Um, and then she also had a guest starring role on How I Met Your Mother. She was funny. Um, March 25th, you have The Lost City starring Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. Um, coming in for April, on April 1st, is The Easter Sunday starring Jimmy O. Yang and Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish is so funny. Like, I wish I had her humor skills. Like, she is just, she's funny when she doesn't even try to be funny. I love that. I just love that. Her whole energy is so boss. Coming in on May, uh, sorry, April 8th, uh, rated R is Ambulance, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Chuka, 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 chuka. Okay, uh, without an official day or time, I should say, coming in on March 8th uh, for Disney Plus is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I'm so excited. I loved that show as a kid. I hope it's the same. I hope they don't like change it too much. Um, and also on the same day is Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Hedgehog 2 starring Ben Schwartz and James Marsden. And then on April 15th, we have Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, um, starring Eddie Redmayne, Jude Law, and others. Uh, that's going to be a very controversial release, I think, considering a lot of people are really upset at the film replacing uh, Johnny Depp. And I have to agree, even though I really loved Mads Mikkelsen, um, I think like Hollywood owes Johnny Depp a huge apology, huge apology. And that's all I'll say about that. On April 27th, you have The Bad Guys, and you are also going to have the release of The Northman, starring Anya Taylor-Joy, Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, and others. This looks so good. I cannot wait to see that. All right. On April 29th, you have 65, starring Adam Driver. And then we're going to start into May. Uh, May 6th of this year, 2022, is finally going to see the release of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, starring Benedict Cumberbatch and Elizabeth Olsen. Super excited. On the same day, you are going to also have uh, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, starring Jason Isaacs and Leslie Mann. On May 20th, you are going to have DC League of Super Pets, starring Kevin Hart, Keanu Reeves, and others. And then you are also going to have the release of Legally Blonde 3, starring Reese Witherspoon. She's been a lot of, in a lot of stuff recently. Uh, coming in on May 27th, rated PG-13, is the Bob's Burgers movie! Cannot wait. I love Bob's Burgers. You're going to have it starring H. John Benjamin, Christian Schaal, and others. Um, also rated PG-13 for the same day for a theatrical release is going to be Top Gun Maverick starring Tom Cruise and Miles Teller. And then we're going to be just after my birthday on 610 is the release of Jurassic World Dominion starring Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. On 617, you are going to have Lightyear starring Chris Evans. And you're, going to, you're also going to have, oh, hell no, <laughs> with Jack Black and Ice Cube. God, I love both of them. They are so funny. Jack Black had me in tears laughing with his performance in uh, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Oh, my gosh. So funny. So funny. <laughs> I love Jack Black. Uh, coming in at June 24th, rated R is The Black Phone, starring Ethan Hawke and Jeremy Davies. You are also going to have on the same day Where the Crawdad Sing, and then an untitled Elvis biopic starring Tom Hanks. Um, on June 29th, you are going to have Shotgun Wedding, starring Josh Hamill and Jennifer Lopez. Now we're going to head into July. In July, on the July 1st, we're going to have the PG-rated release of Minions, The Rise of Gru. I'm so excited. Uh, starring Lucy Lawless and Steve Carell. I love the Minions so much. Uh, <laughs> love them. They're so funny. On July 8th, you're going to have the highly anticipated release of Thor, Love and Thunder. I am super excited. I keep saying that, but there's a lot of stuff I'm really happy to see. On July 15th, you're going to have Bullet Train starring Brad Pitt. On July 22nd, you're going to have Nope, starring Nope, starring Kiki Palmer. 
and you're also going to have Under the Boardwalk on the same day. On 729, we are finally getting the theatrical release of Black Adam starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Super excited. I did several features um, about Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam for Fightful.com. We've talked about it in length on this podcast. I am... So I am. I just can't wait. I cannot picture anybody else playing Black Adam but Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Perfect casting. He has been pushing so much for this film for like several years now. Super exciting. Can't wait. On August 12th, you're going to have Bros. And then the PG-13 rated uh, film The Man from Toronto starring Jason Statham and Kevin Hart. And then you're also going to have Secret Headquarters starring Owen Wilson and Michael Pena. Michael Pena is so funny. On August 19th, you were going to have Beast, starring Idris Elba. On August 26th, you're going to have the PG-13 rated film The Samaritan, starring Sylvester Stallone and Martin Starr. And then on August 31st, you're going to see On a Wing and a Prayer, starring Heather Graham and Jesse Metcalf. And then starting off in September, um, I have to go back and look because they, they had this listed for September, but there wasn't an official date, but it was the first one listed. So I have a feeling it's going to be very early in September, but I have to look back and find a more official date because there just wasn't one. Uh, They're doing, I think, a remake of Salem's Lot. So I don't really know how I feel about this because I'm a huge Stephen King fan and that book and that movie is one of my favorites. So... Fingers crossed that it's extra, extra good. Uh, coming in in the beginning of September sometime around then is Salem's Lot starring Alfred Woodward and Spencer Clark. Coming in halfway into September with uh, September 16th is the PG rated film Distant with Naomi Scott and Anthony Ramos. Um, also on the same day, we're going to have White Bird, a wonder story starring Gillian Anderson and Helen Mirren. That looks really good. I, I actually really do want to see that. Both of those women are stellar. Um, and then also on the same day, you're going to have The Woman King starring Viola Davis and Lashana Lynch. And then on September 23rd, you're going to have the rated R film Don't Worry Darling starring Olivia Wilde and Florence Pope. And then you were also going to have Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, starring Antonio Banderas, Chris Miller, and others. And then on September 30th, you were going to have the highly anticipated release of Mission Impossible 7, starring Tom Cruise and Rebecca Ferguson. Um, heading into October, on October 7th, you were going to have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, starring Haley Steinfeld and others. On October 14th, Halloween End, starring Judy Greer and Jamie Lee Curtis. On October 21st, you're going to have Ticket to Paradise, starring Julia Roberts and George Clooney. On November 4th, kicking off November, is The Flash, starring Ezra Miller and Michael Keaton. On 11-11, we are finally going to get to see Black Panther Wakanda Forever, starring Angela Bassett and others. Angela Bassett is such a badass. I love her in, like, everything that I have seen her in and she like doesn't age she is like I don't even know like her and Michelle Pfeiffer are in like a class of their own they are so fabulous and amazing and badass like oh, love them on November 18th we have Lyle Lyle Crocodile starring Constance Wu and then we also have on the same day she said she said <laughs> starring Carrie Mulligan and Zoe Kazan and then on November 23rd of 2022, we have The Fablemans, starring Michelle Williams and Seth Rogen. Uh, and also on the same day, we're going to have the release of Strange World. And then it's kicking off December for this year, rounding out on 12-2, December 2nd is Violent Night, starring David Harbour. On December 16th, we're going to have the highly anticipated sequel, Avatar 2, starring Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana and others. Um, and potentially, we were also going to have on the same day, potentially, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom starring Jason Momoa. And then on December 23rd, we are going to have I Want to Dance with Somebody starring Stanley Tucci and Tamara Tooney. And then on Christmas Day is the release of Babylon starring Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. Now, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, I'm going to share with you guys all of the releases that we can look forward to in 2022, heading into 2023, uh, that do not exactly have any official dates as of yet for several streaming apps as well as theatrical releases. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. 